What up, what up, what up, y'all? Easy Silent Hustle here every day, all day. We ain't playing no games, y'all. I wasn't doing nothing. I just flew in the camera on purpose just for the video, just to get some attention. That's it. Hey, so I'm about to set up dual monitors connected to a laptop. A lot of people are asking how to set up a laptop and two monitors. That's what I'm about to do today, y'all. So let's get into the video. Oh, oh yeah, wait, wait. Before y'all, uh, before we get started, y'all, please like, comment, and subscribe. Wait, 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 wait. Before, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Do I want to edit it? I want y'all to see how hard it is for me to do a video, which is the reason why I don't do videos. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Let me know what videos you want to see next. And we're about to get into the video. If nobody ever told you, well, I say you're awesome. This is for the underrated, undiscovered bosses. Yeah, yeah, the silent hustlers. You know you were All right, y'all, we back, we back, we back. In this video, you need your two monitors, and I'm pointing at them because mine's are right here. You need your two monitors and your laptop. Also, you need two HDMI cords and a USB to HDMI adapter. USB to HDMI adapter. I chose the J Create J5 Create USB to HDMI adapter. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook up one of your HDMI's right here, and the other end go into monitor number one, and then you're gonna hook up your USB right here. The adapter, the adapter I was referring to, is gonna be hooked up right here. Y'all, I had to insert this clip right quick for those of you all that buy the. USB to HDMI adapters, you need to install the drivers before installing the USB to HDMI adapter. So I'm going to put in a clip on me installing the HDMI to USB adapter with the J Create. Otherwise, fast forward. I have it down in the description where you can fast forward to continue the video if you've already downloaded your drivers for your USB to HDMI adapter. I put it down below on what you need to fast forward to. All right. So whatever product you buy, and I'm going to do this for some people that needs to see it. Whatever product you buy, make sure you go ahead and Google um, whatever type of device you decide to buy. If you don't buy the J5 Create, if you don't buy the J5 Create, no problem. Just make sure you get the drivers for the one that you buy. Okay, I just bought the J5 Create. All right, go down here and click on Windows Drivers. You can do Windows Drivers, Mac Driver, or whatever type of computer you have, okay? All right, so click on Windows Drivers Update. All right, when it comes up, go ahead and click Run or Save. But once you hit Save, just hit Run as well. You can either hit Save or you can hit Save and Run. But hit Run, let it download. Once you see this pop up, go ahead and click Yes. Once you click Yes, you'll see this come up. Go ahead and click Next. Accept the terms, hit Next. Live chat is now available to help. Just say okay. And I'm going to fast forward this to make sure until it finishes uploading, okay? You see this down here, y'all? Just let it be until it come up, okay? Don't touch it as long as you see this down here. It's still working. Um, then go ahead and restart your computer. Hit restart your computer and hit finish. All right, and I'm gonna show you how. So the first one, we're actually gonna hook up the HDMI on the first computer. I mean, on the first for the first monitor, HDMI, and on the other end of this cord, go ahead and hook it up into your monitor number one. I am not gonna go around to hook up. This is already hooked up, you guys. And then you're gonna get your USB to HDMI adapter, whichever one you purchase, okay? You're going to hook up your USB into your, okay, I'm looking at it from the side, you guys. You're going to hook up your USB into the side of the laptop, and then you're going to hook up the HDMI cord right here, all right? Let me see if I can find the cord. Here it is. All right, then you're going to hook up your HDMI cord into your adapter okay the other end of this cord you're going to put it in monitor number two 
the other end of this cord you're gonna put it in monitor number two all right now once you do that we're gonna get into the screen I'm gonna jump into the computer so you can see exactly how it works okay so I'm about to record my screen in three two one all right after you do that you want to come to your computer and um oh let me do this plug of course this was done on purpose you guys easy silent hustle is my company i do website i designs i do website designs uh web hosting if you need to get a domain i do all that i'm gonna put in this plug with myself this is my website check me out if y'all need any website built these are some of the websites i done <laughs> i just had to plug it in everybody plug it in so i'm gonna go ahead and plug mine in all right but right now i want you to go to the top bottom left hand corner and type in display go to display settings and once you open up display settings go ahead and hit detect and if because you probably don't see but one monitor but go ahead and hit detect and then you'll be able to see all three monitors should be detected okay if your monitors are out of order for you so you got one two three and if i turn the camera around it actually identified okay let me do it this way all right, here's my two monitors right here. So if you hit identify, first of all, when you hit the detect, which you'll see on the screen, then you hit identify, you should see each one of those monitors pop up in the corner. You should have one, two, three, okay? If, it, if it's out of order, you can click and drag and just move it over, whatever order you want it in, okay? Hold on, let's do it like that. Okay, so you can click it in whatever order you want it in if your monitors are not in the order that you want it to be put in. All right, there you go, one, two, three. And then hit apply. All right, if it is working and you send the same picture on all screens, you can come down here and click on extend desktop to this display. Extend desktop to this display, that way, each one of your monitors would have different, each one of your monitors would have a different thing, different on it. So example, and I'm gonna grab this folder. All right, so we got it, we grabbed the folder. As you can see right here, we're gonna go from here. It's gonna take it to my first monitor. You go from here and it's gonna take it to your next monitor, okay? All right, you saw that? So, and that's only so you can have different things on different screens that was the purpose of that so people you don't have to see the exact same thing on your screens okay all right let's say it's still not working what i want you to do is go to first first of all i need you to unplug and plug it back up your, your usb your cores make sure your cores are snug that's the first thing i want you to do is make sure your usb cord is snug and your hdmi cord is snug okay all right, from there, if it's not working, I want you to click on your input button. All right, if it's not working, I want you to click on your input button. This may say input or source. I want you to click on your input button, and when you do that, you'll see this come up. All right, and all I'm doing is click, I'm just continue to hit input, input, input. So I'm going to put it on the wrong input, which is HDMI 1. I know it's not in that. This is what you may see, okay? Two monitors with none. And we'll do this channel scan because I use TVs as my monitors. Of course, I got two TVs as my monitors. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to hit input. You may get this right here that says no signal. Go ahead and hit input and go to hit input again and click OK to go to the input HDMI number two. And then that monitor should work. You're going to do the exact same thing to this one. You're going to hit input, input till you put it on the exact monitor it's on. And it's going to be HDMI one or HDMI 2 if you hooked it up the way I just did it. From there, all monitors should show up. But if it doesn't, I got one more thing. If it doesn't, I want you to go to Device Manager. So this is how you get to Device Manager. You can either go down to the bottom in the search box at the bottom right here. Hold on. Go down to the bottom where it says type here to search. Go ahead and hit Device Manager. Go into it right here. Click it. And once you go into it, I want you to go down here to monitors right here. Click on monitors. Mine's a plug and play monitor, so they automatically work. 
automatically work but go to monitors right click on one of the monitors right click and when you right click click update drivers I'm not gonna do it but click update drivers and you if you have to do all three of them do all three of them okay update drivers and then see if that works all right y'all so those are some troubleshooting tips that you can do if your dual monitor is not working so don't forget you're going to need your two hdmi cores you're going to need the j5 create usb to hdmi adapter and you do not have to use the j5 create you can get any hdmi to usb adapter and then you need your two monitors please do not forget to download your drivers before plugging in your usb to hdmi adapter please download your drivers first before plugging in your usb to hdmi adapter then on your laptop you're going to plug in the hdmi into your laptop and the other end of that hdmi cord to your monitor number one then you're going to down uh, plug in your then you will plug in your usb to hdmi adapter the usb piece goes into your laptop and the other end of that adapter, you're gonna put the HDMI cord. On the other end of that HDMI cord, you're going into the monitor. Hope this helps a lot. If it, your monitors does not work, please leave a comment down below or a question down below, and I will try to answer your question if I can. I try to get back to everyone. So until next time, easy silent hustle here every day, all day. Y'all win playing no games. Please like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Silent hustle. Yeah. If nobody ever told you, well, I say you're awesome. This is for the underrated, undiscovered bosses. Yeah, yeah, the silent hustlers. You know you a boss, ayy. Silent hustle, but you hustle hard, ayy.